everyone, it's Carol. Welcome back to Feel at Home Decorating Tips. And I'm here to answer another great decorating question. And this video's question is, how low should I hang my chandelier above my dining room table? So in this video, I'm gonna give you some measurements that you can use to start with, and then how the importance of hanging it low enough and close enough to your dining room table really will create a cohesive and beautiful look to your dining room. So let's get started. So keep in mind during this video that I may be mentioning chandeliers, but I also am talking about any type of pendant light that hangs down from the ceiling and that, you know, is attached to the ceiling with a chain or a metal rod or a cord. And so this video applies to any type of light fixture that's going to be hanging down over your dining room table. And so just to kind of keep that in mind, if I'm just mentioning chandeliers, but it also applies to any sort of hanging pendant over your table as well. So I always recommend hanging your chandelier 30 to 36 inches above your table. So what we're kind of talking about is 30 to 36 inches from the top of the table to the bottom of your chandelier. And this way, your chandelier is close enough to the table so that it is part of the whole dining room experience that, you know, there's this cohesive look to the whole dining room and it relates enough to everything and is just part of that whole furniture arrangement. And then leaving that amount 30 to 36 inches is plenty of room for you to have flower arrangements or centerpieces on your table. And also most importantly, we're keeping in mind that people can still see each other. They're not getting blocked by the chandelier and they can't see each other. So there's still plenty of space where, you know, an average person could sit there and have a conversation and see other people easily across the table. So let me give you a couple examples of how that looks when the light fixture is just too far above the table and it's not really creating a cohesive look to the whole dining room experience. So in this example, um, on the left, there's this really cool dining room table. They have a vase of leaves or flowers. And then above that is this really cool light fixture. Well, there's this disconnect. There's, you know, all this space in between the dining room table and that light fixture. And it's almost like you're looking at two different things. Like you're looking at the light fixture and then you look down at the dining room table and they're not, you know, part of the whole dining room experience. And so just lowering that light a little bit would just create a more cohesive look and everything is together as one, you know, big look. And then the same thing on the um, dining room in on the right, you know, if they would just lower that light fixture, it would just become a part of that dining room table and that whole dining room experience. And then in these two images, um, I'm giving you examples of, you know, how that looks more cohesive when your chandelier or your hanging pendant is closer to your dining room table. You know, both examples show there's plenty of space for a vase or flowers. And if people were sitting there, they would, you know, be able to see each other um, easily enough. And having the chandelier or these light pendants hanging down low enough, close enough to the table, it just creates this whole you know, cohesive, beautiful look to the dining room. So when you're ready to have your chandelier installed, ask the electrician to hold the chandelier up above your dining room table height so that you can take a look and see how that's going to look either 30 inches or 36 inches or anywhere in between. And see how that looks and feels to you and then just follow your your gut and whatever looks good to you that's what's going to work for that room when you hang a chandelier above a dining room table hang it low enough so it looks and feels connected to the dining room table and the whole dining room look 
Do you have any suggestions for future videos? Let me know in the comments. And please subscribe so you don't miss out on the most recent decorating tips.